In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to substitute in a polynomial expression. First up, we need to take a look at some vocabulary. In an expression, we don't have an equal sign, so we don't know what the variable could be. But if we are given the value of a variable, so if somebody tells us x is equal to 3, then we can evaluate a polynomial. What that means is we can solve it, we can substitute and find an answer. When we do this, we must always follow bed mass. So we follow the order of operations. And I put a star down here because we want to always use brackets. Even if an expression seems easy, we need to use brackets when we substitute. It develops good habits and it will help us with negative signs in the long run. Here's an example of a simple binomial that we can evaluate if we're provided with the value for x. This is x plus 4, and it says where x is equal to 3, evaluate, which means solve. So all we need to do is replace x with 3 and solve. But remember, even if you don't feel like it, we're going to use brackets. So I take the binomial x plus 4 and I substitute for x with what they're telling me, which is 3. I use brackets, I show my work, and the answer is 7. So when I evaluate this expression, I come to 7. The thing is, brackets are the key. And brackets are the key because a lot of the time when we have to substitute, we are substituting in negative numbers. And it can get really confusing if we don't use brackets. So when they ask us to evaluate this trinomial and they say x is equal to negative 2, everywhere we see x, we need to substitute with negative 2. And then we can solve it. So 3x squared becomes 3 times negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 1. So we're going to use brackets and we're going to use bed mass. Bed mass tells us we need to solve exponents first, and that is right here. Negative 2 to the power of 2. We learn that brackets matter, especially with exponents. So this means negative 2 squared, and that equals a positive 4. So when we solve our exponents, the brackets really do matter. It's going to be a positive 4 multiplied to 3 plus 4 multiplied to negative 2 minus 1. Bad math tells us we can do multiplication before addition and subtraction. So we can solve both multiplications here and here and then move on. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 minus 1. We're getting to the end of this uh, expression. We're going to use same change opposite to get rid of the subtraction of 1. So negative 8 stays the same. Minus becomes a plus sign and the 1 becomes a negative 1. Now I have 12 plus negative 8 plus negative 1. I can combine my negatives or I can go left to right. Because I have addition, I can do it any which way. 12 plus negative 8 is positive 4. Positive 4 plus negative 1 is positive 3. The answer here when I evaluate, given the substitution that I could do, is 3. Now it's your turn to try one. This one's not in your book. You can give it a try, pause the video, and then watch the solution when you're ready. Ready, here we go. We're going to substitute using brackets and we'll use bed mass. a is negative 2, so I substitute negative 2 cubed minus 2 times negative 2 squared minus 17 times negative 2 plus 1. I'm going to do exponents first. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 2 squared is positive 4 and that's going to multiply by 2, and I'm going to copy everything else out. 
Now I can go ahead and do the multiplications. I have two of them. I'm going to go here and here. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 17 times negative 2 is a positive 34. Now remember, if you don't use the negative signs for the 2 or the 17, that's totally fine. You're going to work out just okay. So I write everything else down, and now I have subtraction and addition. I'm going to work from left to right. I'm going to get rid of this subtraction. I'm going to change this to addition and change the 8 to a negative 8. Now I have addition all the way through. I'm going to put the negatives together. I'm going to put the positives together. And now I've come to my final step where I'm going to take 35 plus a negative 16. So I'm going to subtract 16 from 35, giving me a positive 19. As a quick bit of review, right up at the top where we were substituting for exponents, we had negative 2 squared. That means negative 2 times negative 2. And we had negative 2 cubed, which means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Remember, exponents means repeated multiplication of your base. And your base here is held in brackets, and that is how we can know how to do the signs. Sometimes we have two or more variables that we need to evaluate. Remember, they have to tell us. In this example, x is equal to 3, y is equal to negative 5. We're going to replace them in the original expression, and we're going to solve. We're going to use brackets. 2 times x means 2 times 3, minus y, y is negative 5. Check out those brackets. It makes a huge difference. We are going to do multiplication first. 2 times 3 is 6 minus a negative 5, which means we can now do same change opposite. We now have 6 plus a positive 5. When we evaluate this expression, we come to a positive 11. Let's do one more like that. Here we have 4 times in bracketed x minus y plus 2. We're going to substitute for x and for y. We're going to use brackets inside the brackets. 4 times the x is a negative 2 minus the y, which is a 7. Put a little bit of brackets in there. I know it looks wild, and it is. But what we do is solve inside the brackets, and the replacement or substitution brackets help us to keep our signs straight. So we're going to solve this little bit, negative 2 minus 7. We're going to do same, change, opposite. Negative 2 plus negative 7 is a negative 9. All multiplied to 4 plus 2. We multiply before adding. 4 times negative 9 is a negative 36. Plus 2. We have more negatives than positives. We have negative 34 when we evaluate this expression. Well, this one's a big one. Maybe give the video a pause and give it a try on your own, and then we can check out the solution. You can also see if you match the uh, answer in your workbook for this student example. Here we go. There's many ways to do this, but we're going to start off rewriting, and I'm going to write small. We're going to have negative 2 to the power of 4 plus half times 2 squared times negative 5 minus 2 times 2 squared negative 5 squared plus 45. 
We're going to clear all of our exponents first. Negative 2 to the power of 4. So the answer is going to be negative. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So this is going to be a negative 16 plus a half multiplied to 2 squared is 4 times negative 5 minus 2 which will be multiplied to 2 squared which is 4 which is multiplied to negative 5 squared. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25 plus 45. Now we're going to look to multiply before adding and subtracting. I'm going to multiply this chain here, and I'm going to multiply this chain here. Half times 4. Half of 4. You can change this to a decimal if you want. 0 0.5 times 4, that's 2, times negative 5 is negative 10. And I'm going to keep the subtraction sign here and just multiply 2 times 4 times 25. I'm going to do 4 times 25 is 100, then times 2 is 200, and I'm going to copy everything else down. At this point, I have one subtraction. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to keep the negative 10 in front the same, change my subtraction to addition, and make that 200, negative 200. Now I can combine all of my negatives. It's negative 16 plus negative 10 plus negative 200 is negative 226, plus the positive 45. I have way more negatives than positives, so I'm going to subtract those away. My final answer is negative 181. Right here is where people can come into trouble. You see how when you substitute, you substitute for x. We have a negative sign in front of x. We carry that sign and we use brackets to substitute. The base here is a 2. The exponent applies to what we substitute in there. The negative sign gets brought forward. We solve the exponent 2 to the power of 416, and the sign gets held in front. So that's really important when we substitute to get those exponents correct and use brackets to substitute to see what we have and what we need to do. Substitution is handy for word problems. We're finding perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 10 centimeters and width is 4 centimeters. It's always helpful to draw a diagram. The length is 10 centimeters. The width is 4 centimeters. The formula is P is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We use substitution and we use brackets. The length is 10 centimeters. The width is 4 centimeters. And we can solve. 2 times 10 is 20 centimeters. Plus 2 times 4 is 8 centimeters. The perimeter of this rectangle is 20 plus 8, 28 centimeters. Give this example a try. You can pause the video. I'm going to go over the solution now. Taxi company charges $3 plus $1.25 for each kilometer traveled. 15 kilometer trip. Substitution comes in handy. $3 plus $1.25 per kilometer. How many kilometers do we have? 15 of them. We can set up this expression and solve. $3 plus 1.25 times 15 is $18.75. The trip costs $21.75. Now you're ready to practice some of the questions on page 127 to page 131 in your workbook.